Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is um, uh, problem solving with money. So it's more of the same, we're just adding up a bunch of money together. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at www. so a period, Mr. so mr math blog, all one word, mrmath blog.com and you'll find all these lessons uh, going up there. So anyways, here's our common core strand for our, our most awesome teachers. And our, our question here is, how does acting it out help when solving a problems about money. Okay, so let's go ahead and act these out. Okay, so Kathy gave two dimes, two nickels, one quarter, and two one dollar bills to the clerk for a puzzle. So how much did Kathy give to the clerk? Okay, and it comes with a series of questions. Okay, so it says, what do we need to find? Okay, so it's usually this last piece right here, the last sentence. How much money did Kathy give to the clerk? That's what we need to find. Okay, so what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use Kathy gave the clerk all of these. So two dimes, two nickels, one quarter, and two one dollar bills. So we'll put that in there. And then now we're going to show how to solve the problem. So what I'm going to do is start, uh, so draw to show the money that Kathy used. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, the biggest uh, um, value right here, which is uh, this $1 bill. And there's two of them. So let's do, and I'll highlight this in bold red and then put two $1 bills right there. Okay, so here's my two $1 bills that's representing that. Okay, now the next biggest value coin is this one quarter. So now I'll highlight this one quarter and put one quarter there. Okay. And then uh, nickels, well, dimes are bigger than nickels, so I'll do these two dimes first. So I'll highlight uh, those two dimes, and then finally those two nickels right there. All right, let's slide that up so I can get some room right there. Okay, so now let's add all of these up, okay? So I'm going to add $1 plus $1 plus 25 cents, plus 10 cents, plus 10 cents, plus 5 cents, plus 5 cents, okay? So that's what I just said right there. And let's just add them up. Okay, one plus one is two. So here's two dollars. Two dollars, and let's add up the cents. So 25 cents plus 10 is 35 cents, plus 10 is 45 cents, plus five is 50 cents, plus five is 55 cents. So two dollars 55 cents. That's what that comes up to. And let's answer the question. The question is up here. How much did how much money did Kathy give to the clerk? Kathy gave two dollars and fifty-five cents to the to the clerk. Okay, and don't forget you want to write your dollar sign and don't forget your decimal sign because the decimal sign separates the cents part from the dollars part right there. So always put the decimal right there and put the dollar sign also so we know you're talking about money. Okay, because we just wrote 2.55. What does that mean? 2.55. It's 2.55 dollars. So we got to represent the, the problem here. Okay, let's try another one. So Again, we're going to use play money or draw pictures, okay? So um, you can just draw rectangles for the dollar bills right there. Okay, so Jack has two $1 bills, two dimes, and three pennies. Okay, those are already in order. So how much money does Jack have in his pocket? Okay, so the questions are, what do I need to find out? Well, we need to find out how much money Jack has in his pocket. So that's usually the question right there. Okay, and then... And then uh, what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the information that he has two $1 bills, two dimes, and three pennies. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Is, uh, here's two $1 bills right here. Here's two dimes, and then here's three pennies right here. Okay, let's add these up. These two $1 bills gives us $2, so I'm going to circle those and put $2. Actually, I'll just put a line underneath them. And then these guys right here, this is 10, 20, so 10 plus 10 is 20, 21, 22, 23. So this is 23 cents right here. So that's how much total money he has in his pocket is $2.23. Okay? All right, let's see. We've got a couple more here. All right, so um, I think this is our last one here. So Ann uses uh, Ann used sorry two quarters, one nickel, one dime, and three one dollar bills. Okay, those are not in order. Okay, so what I'm going to do is is um, uh, and then how much money did Ann use to buy the toy? Okay, I don't think I did those questions, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, so what do we need to find out? Okay, we need to find out how much money Ann used to buy that toy right there. And then uh, what information do we need to use? We're going to use this information right here. She used two quarters, one nickel, one dime, and three $1 bills. Okay, all right. So 
I am first going to list these three one dollar bills, okay? And then uh, and then I'll list two quarters, one dime, and one nickel. So there, there's my my three one dollar bills right here. Here's my two quarters. I put the nickels here and the dime here. It doesn't matter. So we're just adding these up right here. All right, let's slide that up so we can have some room right there. Okay. All right, I'm going to circle these. That's going to be $3 right there. And then the cents, here's 25 cents. Here's two quarters. So that's 50 cents right here. So 50 cents plus 10 is um, 60 cents plus 5 is 65 cents. Okay, so that adds up to 65 cents. So, uh, and use $3.65 to buy that toy. All right, you guys, I uh, hope that makes sense and take care.